Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph off of Facebook page, and I didn't know how, I didn't have this font, and this font would look better than the one I picked. I just picked Times New Romans. And there's several ways you could do this. But all I did is I took their original picture, and I brought in a curved line, and I'm going to put it about where it is. Then I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. Holding down the control button, I'm going to hold, put it like right there. Now I'm going to move the box out of the way. And I am going to take a, well, I'll tell you what, let me move it back. Let's take a rectangle and get pretty close to our font. We're pretty good. I could move this side in just a little bit. So what I'm making is three different shapes. And I'm gonna do that with the Smart Fill tool. As long as our lines are going past, we're good. I'm gonna Smart Fill each one of these lines, each one of these segments. So now I can go down here and left click, right click. And these are individual sections. If I can grab that one, I can move it out of the way. So now I can go to Effects and Contour. I'm going to contour the inside. Let's go 0.3. Click on this one, 0.3. Click on this one, 0.3. And what that's going to do is going to keep your fonts apart. I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to go to Object. I'm going to break the six objects apart. Now I'm going to take my insert contours and move them over. Now I'm going to type out the word Viking and I'm going to get it that approximate size. Doesn't have to be perfect for this case. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use Arial this time. I like that font and if I uh, took the time, I could probably find that font. I don't think she really, they care about what font it is. Let me see if we can get something just close to it. That's pretty close to Arial or Times New Roman. Let's just go with, uh, you know, just bear with me a second. I want a font that's got some pretty good definition. Well, let's just go with Times New Roman. You can just start typing in Times and then hit enter, and you got Times New Roman. Now we're going to make it just a little bit smaller. Now we're going to close the contour docker, and we're going to open up, under effects, we're going to open up the envelope docker. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And I need to make three copies of this, so I'm just going to take the word, and I hit the plus key. Now grab that, go right here to create an envelope form, and then click in there. Grab that one, create an envelope form, go to the center one. Do not worry about putting you in the hole right now. Click the last one, and you see how it worked. Now, if we select this box, hold down the shift key and we hit EC, well, that's not what I wanted. I should have selected the, the font first, then the box, and then hit EC the font, the box, EC. The font, holding down the shift, EC. Now, I can take away these outlines and you kind of see more what you got. Now in hers, uh, the, the top one and the bottom one are holding down the shift. So we do them at the same time. I'm gonna put no fill, outline. I'm gonna make the outline a little bit thicker. I'm gonna hit F12 on my keyboard and get my pen tool. And I'm gonna go like that thickness and hit enter. Now hers, hers looks better, or at least the picture. And then if, if you were just taking, matter of fact, we could probably use this rectangle. Well, use this rectangle and fill it in with gray. And there you go. The better font, this actually looks better because the font's better. But 
<laughs> that's how, that's one way you could do it. There's several ways you could do that. But anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.